All right, guys, we're here on to map four at the Overwatch Open, the semifinals or the EU finals between Rogue and Misfits. It's going to be 2-1 in favor of Rogue. We'll see whether or not they can close it out here on this map. AKM is going off on his McCree. He refuses to play anything else, and it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. Despite the situation, he's just bringing the damage. He's just fine on the McCree. Like, I, I trust him. Oh, and here, here's the that good guy sleep. protect. A good guy protect the Reinhardt uh, on the sleep from Nevix. RYB keeping him alive. Ooh, they managed to zone out the uh, Reinhardt. He's going to have to go in or go home, and he will go in. He will drop, though. Now, there's going to be some pressure onto Nevix. Tivik is going to pick that one up, but Tivik dries, dies as well. There's going to be some quick pressure here onto the point. Can AKM make anything happen? No, he's going to go down, and it looks like this is going to be an early push and an early point going over to the side of Misfits. They've managed to kill everybody off the point, and they should be able to capture this or at least get two-thirds. We'll see whether or not Rogue decides to contest. It doesn't look like they're going to. Yeah, the only problem with Rogue is that they didn't really have enough stall on the first point of Eichenwald, and when you're running both a Reaper and a McCree, you're not going to have that stall, right? You want one of them to play Mei for the first point, so you can basically block them off when they try to get through that choke, because it's a very small choke. I think the smallest we have in the game so far, uh, so that's something that you want to consider. Uh, but on the second point, AKM on McCree and Tavik on Reaper, it's going to be fine. Like, these guys are going to rip apart team fights. So we'll see what they can do, and we'll see what Misfits can do to combat that. He then goes in with the Nano Boost. Oh, here's going to be a good high noon Deadeye from way up top. He's holding it. He does manage to pick it off Nevix. That's going to be a guaranteed kill. Gets a second. Soon is going to drop. Now looking at Crew, can he dink him down? He needs a couple more auto attacks. He should be able to find him if he continues to chase. That's going to be a shield on him. Ooh, that's a lot of damage back on AKM. AKM has to back up. He's going to get brought down by Zebosai, who had the shield. Now in the back line, it looks like the rest of the members of Rogue have brought down Misfits. And now Wins or uh, Crew is going to be brought down by Wins. And it's going to be a Zarya Vizaria fight with uh, Grogue coming out on top. Yep, Tavik just cleaning up the back of that fight after everyone tried to focus AKM for too long. And again, we keep going back to this double threat team that Rogue have. You have two really high damage threats. If you're looking at someone like Misfits, Nevix on uh, May, yeah, it'll do damage, but it's not as much of a threat as Reaper. And here comes Reaper going in, four-man Death Blossom, and he's going to be able to pick up a fifth off of just the oh left clicks God. here. Tavik goes in, and he goes ham. That was brutal. That was perfectly placed, perfectly timed. The damage came out, and there wasn't anybody who could like just turn and deal with him. And the shield from Reinhardt didn't come out, so he just cleaned up the entire enemy team. Two ult combo to give them another stall, although there's a lot of ults on the side of Misfits. I think Rogue is going to need to be careful about their positioning, and the Earth Shatter from Reinforce is going to have to be huge. Oh, speaking of the Earth Shatter, it takes down the Nano Boost to target. Yeah, that's going to slow down soon. Soon is not going to get that much off of his nano boost. He's now going to be looking right down the barrel of Wins's gun, but Wins is going to drop two shots. The face is enough for him, but soon has to keep backing up. His AKM is in here in the back line. Nevik showing up to try and keep the push going, but it will not happen as AKM cleans things up and stops Misfits from doing anything. I like the communication on Mis Misfits there. So you have the Graviton Surge go in, you have the nano boost happen, and as soon as the nano boosted target got slept, they were like, all right, guys, we're losing this fight. Don't keep using your ultimates. Let's keep the advantage. And right now we see four ults to zero. Uncle almost has his, but that's still going to be one to four. And here comes the uh, sound barrier. Ooh, sound barrier goes out. That's going to keep them alive. That's a good freeze, but I don't know if Soon needed to use the ultimate. It will help them clean things out and keep the push going. They actually, now they're going to start to pressure the members of Rogue down. He, they will pick up to Vic. Down goes Nox. That's going to be a full team wipe. They should be able to get this into the front door. Yep, and they're going to get to the front door. Let's see if Misfits, or let's see if Rogue is going to try to contest it at all before it reaches that point, because part of this chokehold is really weird, and <laughs> RYB is waiting for an Earth Shatter. Ooh, that's going to be good for him. It's going to knock down a couple of members, instantly drops AKM. Oh, he doesn't manage to get to Vic, who's been nano boosted. The Graviton Surge is there, but it's not going to pull in too many members. Nevix and RYB are going to be the only ones, but Wins is into the back line. That's going to be an Earth Shadow that comes out. Nice wall for May to block that and the charge. Now they're trying to bring down soon to Vic, looking to get somebody. He needs to find a kill. Instant headshot from Nevix, and that's going to do some serious damage, although the members of Rogue are just here too quickly. They're right on the uh, side of their spawn. They're able to get here very very fast zebo side is now being pressured out on, as well as crew and i think rogue should get this yeah crew is going to be taken down by akm right there and kyb up or, or 
RYB up on the top side over there. He's going to back off and try to get the rest of his team ready for another fight. He doesn't want to give up as any more ult charge than he already has. Wall comes out from May, locking off wins, but are they going to try to go for it? He's too tanky, but they're going to nano boost soon, and he's going right for it. Wins gets taken down, reinforce as well, and oh, RYB showing up out of nowhere in the backside. He took the route through the castle. Meanwhile, Nox is on the payload. He's going to get taken down as well, and now Tavik has to retreat as Misfits gets the second point. It looked like AKM was going to dish out the damage, but that was a great flank coming in from RYB. Soon still has his ultimate, so does Crew, so they do have a combo set up. Wins. something other than Wins. this. <laughs> Wins will pick up a kill. Tavik is now in here inside the throne room, looking to slow them down. They've pressed very, very far forwards, letting the payload make its way on its own. And now we're going to see whether or not Wins coming up with that Graviton Surge. Him and AKM, they need to make something happen. Yep, Reinforce stepping forward a little bit soon is right behind him. Does he know about this? He has no idea, and he's going to go in with the Death Blossom. Death Blossom comes out as well as the Sound Barrier. Earth Shatter is there, and that's going to slow down a number of members. Nobody has dropped yet. AKM, he's very close to dying. Out comes the counter Sound Barrier, and they're going to start to pick up the kills. Nox gets one, Tavik gets two. He's going to continue to press forward. Nevix goes down, and that's going to be a full team wipe for Misfits. Yeah, Misfits just... Unfortunately, not making much happen with that attack there, and now we're going to see AKM just say hi to Tavik real quick there, and they're actually going to switch AKM on the Reaper to Vic on the May, and what that is is this last point. Look, after the gates have shut right there you see in the middle of your screen, it gets so hard for you to push in because there are only two places you can actually get into the point, unless you're a mobility person who can go through the window. He done waiting to set up the nano boost. Actually, he puts it in on the soon. That's going to be the press forward on to Tavik, who has switched over to the May. But Unko is going to drop. Now he's going to be pressuring wins on Zarya. He's going to be able to bring him down. They get him through the shield. He instantly drops AKM out of the sky. Can he get anybody else? Tavik is going to drop, and that's going to be the pressure coming in from soon, who does amazing work with that nano boost, and they still have RYB's Earth Shatter. I'm so glad we were watching Soon's perspective for that, so we can see just how crazy his aim is during those last shots. He was on everyone's head each time. Maybe he's a McCree player, and ooh, a charge in from Nox. He takes out the support. Yep, RYB going very, very deep. Soon gets off another Death Blossom. That's going to freeze on the point to Vic. He's not going to survive very long. His crew is there to pick him up. And can Misfits make this happen? Looks like they will be able to pick up three points with 57 seconds on the clock. That's going to be the first round going over to them. Yep, 57 seconds. Going to turn into the minute once they get their next attack. Rogue actually doesn't look too happy with that. They didn't want to hold, or they didn't want them to get the uh, full offense at all. And. Maybe they want to keep a little bit higher spirits going into their attack, but we'll see what they pull out. Uh, we saw some pretty neat stuff earlier on in the tournament, uh, where one of the teams took the far right flank around uh, the first choke point in Eichenwald, and it was the team comp was Farah, Mercy, Lucio, Genji, Diva, and who am I missing? And, and that was it which is like five people who can go around that flank. So they basically took their entire team, ignored the choke point, and suddenly appeared behind the enemy team. So that's a creative strat that we've seen on Eichenwald that some teams might be able to implement. We'll see if Rogue decides to use it here. They might even just go for the, the two-man with uh, Farah and Mercy, or they could just try to power straight through the choke point just like Misfits did. Yeah, I, don't, I mean, that, that choke point was really, really dangerous for a push for them. The fact that Misfits pulled it off is surprising. And uh, there there we do see the other Reinhardt on the throne. Can't Reinhardt just, like, pick that up and, like, get a new set of armor? Like, for real, that's a sick Wait. set of armor. It's a skin, too, so... I mean, it's I, probably his king. I bet, you, I bet you that's Reinhardt's king. Do we know the lore on that? They made... I, I'm gonna get, like, flamed so much from the community here, but I actually didn't see the... Uh, the Bastion Reinhardt I can oh, no, no, it doesn't uh, it doesn't show it it doesn't it, the 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 video with Bastion and, yeah. on on I can roll with him in the woods no nah, no nah, it only shows him walking through there it doesn't actually uh, talk about Reinhardt man. now I look now I look like I now I look dumb and I haven't even seen the thing and everyone's <laughs> gonna hate me now it's, it's okay. apparently it's, it's okay. a really good one too like it makes no, no, everyone no, no, no. the Bastion one Bastion. is really really good it yeah. shows you a lot well, granted, there's some geography issues by how close Eichenwald is in that forest is to Zambani. Like, this should be Northern Europe, not anywhere near Africa, but we are in a game. Tavik has switched over to his Hanzo and looking to dish out some damage. Stepping forward, he did get one kill there. Or, no, he did get some good damage. Now he's starting to pick up the kills. Nevix is going to drop. But uh, Wins reinforcing AKM died pretty quickly, and they're not going to get that much off of that push. Yeah, and uh, part of this, you see Misfits, they're running the May on the defense, too. 
which is something that I think Rogue should have done, uh, Tavik should have gone on May at the beginning of it, uh, and that allows them to hold the point off a little bit better. And now Misfits are giving up the choke because they lost too many people in that fight, so even though Rogue didn't exactly push through, they still got Misfits to back off, which is pretty huge. Yeah, they're going to be able to pressure through. And I mean, he's very, Tiffic is very, very close to being able to get off that dra that uh, that dragon to just pressure them off of some of these choke points. It's really, really good. There's going to be the dragon. He's going to throw it right through the wall. That's going to go through. They did already pick up three, four, five kills. They actually killed everybody before the dragon went through. Dragon did nothing. Yeah, and I was like, that was like zoning dragon. Again, it's like a little bit unfortunate that we can't control the camera. So we were watching Tavik stare through the window at things sort of happening instead of watching AKM who was picking up the kills. But that's a little bit of unfortunateness there. I don't know if that's a word. Probably is. If not, it is now. And here we have, ooh, nice high ground defense set up by Misfits. They're taking much more advantage of this high ground than Rogue was. And that actually helps them a lot because... Rogue is running with Tavik on Hanzo and AKM on Reaper, so they don't actually have a McCree to peck them down. Yeah, they, they don't really have enough range to really make anything happen, but they are going to jump down. That's going to be a great Maywall Graviton Surge as well. They do pick up one. They actually get Tavik and Reinforce here. Now, AKM waiting around the side. He needs to get some help. It won't be coming as it's going to be brought down. Unko drops as well, and that's going to be a good team wipe. Coming out from Misfits, they were able to drop pretty much everybody. Yeah, and that's part of the power of the high ground is that suddenly... <laughs> As soon as the payload pushes forward a little bit, as soon as it enters that corner, the entirety of the defending team can just drop down and suddenly they're exactly on top of the attacking team. In this case, it's Misfits versus Rogue. And speaking of drop, Soon is going down in for it, but there's no one nearby. He doesn't pick up anything. You good? I think my cookaster might have disconnected. Either that or my internet's going bad. Nope, nope. My my bad. Rip my dog. My my dog is barking in the background. I'm gonna have to deal with that. You're gonna be on your own for just a few seconds. Okay. Uh, solo casting for a little bit. Ryb is up here on the ledge. He's gonna. He has an earth shatter, so he could land the shatter from the sky if he needs to. And we'll see if he's going to go for it. Akm does have his ultimate, so they're gonna be able to use that for the push. Nano boost goes in, and oh, Akm gets taken down immediately from the earth shatter. He still manages to pick up one. He's going to try to find a second one. Reinhardt shields helping him with that, and crew going to get taken down. He stepped a little bit too far forward, but outside of the safety of the shield, and that is gonna allow the rest of the team to move forward soon. Soon actually used his ultimate there wow that was a horrible decision unfortunately for him and now a charge comes in from akm or from ryb to take out akm but it doesn't really matter i'm going to go back to that soon uh death blossom right there and sort of ask why the entirety of his team was basically dead he was doing that right in front of an akm wins was still alive so he could gret or he could uh shield people I'm just, that decision wasn't great, and now Tavik is going to use the Dragon Strike to combo with the Graviton Surge. That's three kills, four kills. Nox manages, managing to pick off soon with a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of sound attacks. I don't know what they're called, actually, as they're going sound to go on in waves. for it. Sound waves. Sound blast. They're beats. That is the actually beats. the, he that is actually the physical beats. embodiment of what a beat can do to you. <laughs> All right. What kind of beat? I guess this is like some heavy dubstep something. I don't know. Uh, no, 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 no. That's you're, just you're the beats. EDM guy. This is beats, just beats in general, dude. This the the power of music. Music is actually a highly concentrated weapon in this situation. We actually have AKM stepping very far forward. He's going to get nano boosted as well as with the death blossom. He's going to pick up one. He's going to charge very, very deep to try and bring down the nano boosted Reinhardt, who was the counter. They do pick up two there. Can he get a third? He's going to get uh, shielded out and he's going to have to back up the rest of his team. He's keeping Reinhardt. Very, very busy. RYB will go down. And now they're going to be looking. Oh, Zebo side comes at the backside and hits him with the beats in the back of the head. That's going to guarantee them one kill. And they're going to continue to push this payload forward. They're looking to have a huge amount more time than the Misfits. They're going to walk in here with maybe three minutes here. That's going to be a good Graviton Surge to pull into. Reinforce is going to get locked down. He's now going to go right onto the point and die as the freeze comes out and the focus fire from the side of Misfits. I, I don't really think the freeze was needed there. It looked like everyone from Rogue had either died or backed off by then, so a little bit of a wasted ultimate right there. There's a fight going on. We can't see it. Hedan takes out Unko. Just a snipe war between the Annas. And check, it, check out this payload. Look at it moving backwards, man. Yeah, payloads moving backwards. I mean, it's it's a mystical thing when a payload moves backwards. It's actually not what payloads are supposed to do. It's actually against their nature. Um, payloads, <laughs> payloads by their nature go forward. 
It's it's true. It's true. You I, can look this up. Steve Irwin was actually a master of explaining how payloads actually move forward in their natural habitat. But we do have is, the side of misfits setting up all of their ultimates. It's going to be three to three. Unko, Nox, and Tavik are looking to make something happen, and they are going to go right into the point. That's going to be an Earth Shatter that goes down. Doesn't really connect onto too many targets. Out comes the sound barrier from Nox to keep people alive. He is going to get frozen down as crew with the help coming out from Nevix brings into. That's going to be a decent graviton surge. Out comes the dragon. Tavik is back with them dragons. He's going to be able to get two. Now they're looking at soon. Can they bring down anybody else to be able to start getting the payload further forward? Because they're going to need to cycle in a few more ultimate combos before they can win this. Yeah, the payload hasn't really moved forward at all in this fight. Uh, Rogue is going to have to wait until they can get just a much better offense. And they do have time. Uh, they don't, again, going back to the Watchpoint Gibraltar thing that I talked about, they don't necessarily have to finish with at the same amount of time as Misfits. Misfits, they can win in overtime. But the most important part is that they get some clock... Oh when they do win God. it, and AKM, AKM goes in for it with the nano boost, he picks up two, and that is actually going to clean up the rest of the fight. Ooh, Earth Shatter goes down, but Counter Earth Shatter from Re Reinforce gets him as soon as he charges. So not as much time as I thought it would be. They were looking really good at that three minute mark. They're going to walk in with 22 seconds ahead of their opponents, and I mean that's that's an amazing it like that's an amazing way to win that game pretty much just off of like two plays like two key plays were all that rogue needed to really push things through yeah akm just going ham in the back line right there and there weren't really any ultimates there to stop him uh which is really good on rogue's part to just keep the unrelenting pressure and going back to the early tavik ultimate i think the uh, may freeze could have helped there the may blizzard uh it was used preactively preactively it was used too early no, it was used too late. What am I saying? All right, so <laughs> it was used too late after everyone had died, so it was more of a waste than anything else. And just imagine if they had it for that last fight, either to shut AKM down or just keep the rest of his team busy or keep the rest of his team frozen and killed while AKM was doing that. Because AKM can pick up three kills, but if the rest of his team is dead, then it's still a 1v3 and there's not too much he could do. Uh, so we're going to flip back onto the other side where now it looks like... Um, Misfits is the attacking team this time. We saw a Tobjorn hover, but we know that we know better than that. So you're not gonna get us. Yeah, no, 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 no one's no one's bringing out any Torbs of Bjorn. Hey, that would be too much for me. I I don't think I could handle that. So we've got the Misfits setting up for their push. They've got 50 seconds to get this on to the next point. And I mean, uh, Tavik should be able to do a good job of slowing them down. This is a really rough choke point to go through. I I would be surprised if they were able to push this through uh, before the you know 30 second mark. They're going to need to just set this up and find a really good pick, and it doesn't look like they're finding it. It also comes down to Nevix. There's the wall. I was just going to talk about that, but here it is, and they're going to be able to funnel Ooh, through. Into down that's going to be good for them and they should be able to start pressing very far forward they've only got about 26 seconds left they are going to actually catch two here into the corner nevix with these amazing walls is going to continue to put people out of position reinforce goes down now they're looking to pressure the remaining members nox is in serious trouble to vic goes down and they're going to get it yeah they actually managed to break through the first point in icon wall that was a really good play by misfits and this actually puts so much pressure on rogue because the first point, like we know, you can actually hold on the first point pretty easily, so it'll be interesting to see what Rogue can do, but now we're at the overtime, so it just comes down to how far they can go just standing on the payload. They need to keep someone on the payload at all times, which can be hard considering Tavik has his blizzard. So someone's gonna have to get frozen on the payload, and they're gonna have to hope they don't die in the process. All right, that's going to be a nano boost forward. Does connect onto the Reiner. He's going to continue to step forward soon. Oh my god, gets the headshot right on the wins. They're going to continue to pressure. AKM, can you land the shots you need to land? He's going to get, get back, back in time. Way. Oh my god. They what? all stepped forward too far and they just ditched the payload. Overtime ticks down and they get no distance off of that. Off of a one fight. Oh, oh man, man, misfits. Ah, oh, that is disheartening. You don't want to see that at all. My god, they have just gifted Rogue the well, win. If, if Rogue can do this properly, that is a gift from God. Yeah. Or, well, a gift from this it, It's basically, <laughs> as long as Rogue takes the first point, then they're going to be able to win. Like, that is not any distance at all that they have to push the payload. So, it comes down to the first point. Sometimes we see Envious Internet Hulk likes to run Symmetra when they want a first point uh, defense on a payload map. Or on a hybrid map, rather. 
I don't think we're going to see it here just because that's that seems to be an Internet Hulk thing. He's the only one who does that. Sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. But it doesn't look like Misfits is going to do anything crafty, actually. They're just going to go with standard stuff. Nevix still on May. He's been showing off really good May skills this tournament, so let's see if he can get the correct walls to bring his team the victory. Oh my god. <laughs> still stunned, huh? I'm... The, the well, levels stunned or of triggered. stun... No, 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 stunned. No, 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 not triggered. Triggered would be like, like, triggered would be if they did it again. Then I'd be triggered. I'm just like, Tr triggered would disbelief. be if a team wins with Tobiarn on offense or something that like is, that. That's that whoever the shot caller is for Misfits has got to be kicking themselves. Like, mentally, that could easily break a team. And where's I mean, they're the wall? already where's playing the wall? No really, wall. really safe. They're very, very far back. There's going to be the wall. That's going to zone off a couple. But I don't know how much good that's going to do them. They're going to get the free or the ice cube onto the wall. AKM looking for a solid flank. He needs to find something. His Unko has actually already been dropped. He needs to pick up this kill here. He will get crew. And now he's got to find somebody else. He's going to ghost himself back. That's going to be a good wall to slow down his progress. To Vic looking to land some of their shots, but they aren't coming through yet. This is a very slow fight. Now they've got plenty of of time still 50 seconds and oh akm he's gonna get brought down nevix he manages to land the ice blast from very very far away the icicle hits him in the face reinforced he's gonna get locked as well wins is gonna get hit behind the wall he's gonna be slowed from being able to retreat ryb with the defense and the dragon doesn't connect oh wow rogue actually managed to uh or rogue actually get pushed back off of this misfits holding it for now and i thought i thought rogue was we're going to be able to do it as soon as we saw the the wall just not come out through the choke i thought he was going to let two or three people walk through wall it off prevent the rest of the team from coming over and suddenly you you're fighting a six on three for a couple of seconds but he saved the wall it looked like it worked out in the end here comes the nano boost reaper Nano Boost Reaper into the back line. Out comes the Sound Barrier to counter out the damage. He's looking to get very, very deep. He is going to get one, but he doesn't pick up anybody else. There's going to be the Earth Shatter. Out comes the Sound Barrier to save him, but it doesn't actually hit him. He Nox was too far away. Now Nox sitting on the point. Wins is the only one left. Three members from Rogue are down. Is Misfits going to be able to survive this? There's going to be the Graviton Surge. It's going to pull in two, but it's just going to be Zarya and a Lucio. They are going to be able to hold the RYB for no a little way. Bit longer. Oh my God. He's still alive. No, he will go down and they will manage to secure this point. At least it looks like they will. The members from Rogue are starting to accumulate. Is anybody from Misfits going to show up to contest this? It doesn't look like it. And now Rogue only has to make it a little bit further. And there are no ultimates up for Misfits. Crew is close to his. They're going to have to rely on this Graviton Surge and the and the Nano Boost out from Hidan. Soon and Crew have to coordinate this perfectly. And we do have a Dragon Strike from Tavik, so he can m completely mess up any positioning that they have. Almost gets the headshot onto May here. Let's see what they can do here. <laughs> Just look at that. They need to push it about 10 meters, and that's it. 10 meters. It's going to get through there, like, pretty much on its own. Anyway, that's going to be a good Graviton Surge that comes out. Dragon is there. Ooh! Head kill on the Zebo side, but Crew is going to be able to prick up to Vic. Can they get any further forward? No! no Crew way. is doing work! He's stalling them out! The freeze is How? there! They're going to be able to hold the point! Oh my god, Misfits have done it! How is this hap- What?! We thought that as soon as they got the first point, they were going to be able to push through, take the entire series, but Misfits somehow hold them back here. I think Rogue just hesitated a little bit too much. They waited too long. Graviton Surge came up in that time, and they just got stuck on the payload. A huge fight from Misfits. That was crazy. We have I just, a series now. We have, we have a best oh. of five series. This is getting intense, and the last map is Hollywood. I, I can't wait. Hollywood is such a good map to end it on to because it's it's a tried and true map. It's over the course of September. It was a really favorite map among like most of the teams and even August too. So I just look at Rogue. They can't believe that they let that slip. Man, I I can't either, honestly.